Hello friends, I'm Dr. Tamim. I'm here with the toppers from the recently conducted INICT and they all wanted to come together and uh, give an overview of how they have prepared. Please introduce yourself and uh, tell about your ranks. Uh, good morning everyone. My, myself Madhu BK. I'm from Bangalore Medical College. I secured rank of uh, 248 all, uh, in the recent INICT. Yes. Uh, my name is uh, Mohit. Uh, I'm also from uh, Bangalore Medical College. I have secured uh, a rank of uh, 133 in INICT. I'm Dr. Swoti Jain. Uh, I'm, I'm also from BMCRI. I've secured rank 181 in this INICT. Okay, so I think all of you can answer this um, in a very simple way. What can we tell the juniors? Ki this is what you need to do to get through the, in the exam. Sir, uh, the, I started my preparation with the Bhatia classes only. Like it's around uh, month of June. So it's been a, like five and a half months or six months only. So what I felt was, uh, it's the class notes. I stick to the class notes and uh, previous year questions. Uh, I think whatever the minimum we, we, we can do, uh, I did it in the this, this amount of time. Okay, so I, did, I don't think you had enough time to do so many revisions and all that for this uh, INICT. Yes, sir. But, uh, I, uh, but I, I took it as like uh, lightly only. Mm -hmm. uh, I did, uh, I did the only class notes. I stick to the, I, I made myself a boundary so that I, I should not go out of that. Uh, I stick to the class notes and pre previous year questions. So that made me... So that just proof that uh, even though you didn't have time for revision, class was still going on. Yes, You sir. started in June. Still yes, you were sir. able to get such a good rank. Yes, sir. So that means just the class note itself can get uh, a decent rank. Yes, sir. And uh, you didn't even have time to revise also, I think. Right? Yes, sir. Uh, so I think uh, just uh, for... Uh, 10 days before the exam only, I, we had classes. So mm -hmm. um, so you had only 10 days after the classes yes got sir. over to yes do one rough revision. One rough revision, yeah. Correct. Spurti, you want to add something? Yes, sir. Even I started in June from same batch 3. Uh, the only thing I followed was you have to read how much less how much less you can read, it's better to study. And then you have to apply the same on the on that questions. Because it will be four options. You could, the best way to uh, answer MCQs is to rule out. And that's what sir always used to tell. And I applied that to many of the questions in uh, in the exam. Uh, that will help a lot. And you have to practice that when you're doing it in GTs or anything. Even if you're solving a question and you know that this is the answer, you just have to look at the other three options so that if you can rule out or not. So you have to uh, cultivate the habit of solving MCQs. You have to know how to how you have to approach the question and all. And the minimum you study, the more you can uh, revise Every actually. Yeah. You'll get so more what do you mean revise. by minimum study means you just stick to class notes? Yes, sir. Only class notes. Even okay. I didn't add much to it. Even though whatever I added, I think I, last moment I was not able to read that. Um, I was able to do one revision before, uh, like whenever in, the, in between the classes, I used to revise the previous subjects. I think mm -hmm. that actually helped me. Okay, you want to yes, ask? Uh, I was from uh, uh, Foundation Batch, sir. So I made notes during third year and final year. So actually, uh, I made all the notes in the third year, like first year and second year. Later on, uh, I couldn't uh, like uh, attend the final year the subjects because of COVID. So then, uh, because of uh, we the that time, uh, eGurukul app uh, came handy, sir. So I finished all uh, surgery and uh, medicine notes, sir. So your medicine lectures was completely I, I could complete full uh, videos, sir. So those were really actually useful sir like uh, i could finish even patho and uh, uh, physiology completely in that uh, notes only so yes yeah, sir uh, and also i felt like uh, uh, doing uh, like previous year questions will help uh, more than uh, going for newer newer stuff uh, sir and uh, even uh, at the end uh, like last 15 days uh, uh, you should be th like sitting uh, completely with a focused mind so uh, last 15 days will what uh, matters uh, your rank and also and the way of approach on the day of exam sir so they should be like uh, completely, they should give their concentration on uh, uh, reading the notes and also uh, revising the same thing again and again. Okay. Okay, so I think all of you are uh, agreeing on one point that just uh, just focus on the class notes. Yes, and you had the uh, opportunity to attain both face-to-face -face and uh, eGuru Collab also. Yes, sir, so yes, you found both useful yes, sir. or you uh, found one better than the other? How? Uh, sir, uh, I was not attending live uh, classes uh, in uh, online, sir. So, but I was uh, attending the recorded version, sir. So, eGuru Collab. Yes, sir. So. Right. Right, great. So one final word of advice you would want to give to your uh, juniors, what would that be? Okay, just do this. This is what is required. Uh, sir, uh, whoever is preparing for upcoming need, need PG, I should tell whatever you have done till now, you continue with that and just plan plan for 
uh, whatever time you have and uh, stick uh, you make yourself a, yourself a boundary so that uh, you you should not go out of it if you go out of it in the last 10 days it will like it will be very difficult to revise and all nice. uh, so and previous year questions are should be at your fingertips so uh, they are the gold standards and you have to stick to how it. many year previous year questions you did sir uh, from last 2015 uh, after 2015 i have did uh, all the neat and uh, inict questions okay yes sir okay Sir, uh, like I couldn't do all the previous year questions, uh, so that is the mistake I have done. So I don't feel you should do the same, but you have to uh, do all the previous year questions. I think uh, at, at least uh, like six papers uh, for INICT, and uh, for juniors, I think uh, you should you should not leave the subjects after finishing your professional exam because you have to uh, keep a notes uh, of the previous uh, subjects you have finished so that you can revise it at the end like in the final year also because uh, in final year uh, you have to be thorough with physiology and uh, anatomy for uh, surgery and all so you should have a backup of uh, those uh, basic subjects so that you can uh, do well in professional exam also and even in uh, entrance exam so we have to be uh, thorough with the first year and second year so that will be the more yielding in uh, uh, INICT also so so that was the actually the great thing I did in third year and final year uh, by joining Bhatia so that I can make notes and also could revise in the final year, sir. So. Um, that's what you have to just stick to the notes and solve previous year questions as many as possible. And you have to review the same questions again and again. Whenever you give GT, you just have to see what where you're going wrong and review that concept again. Only then you can, you'll be able to remember. So solving more questions won't help. Solving the same questions again and again and solving the same thing, uh, reading the same thing again and again will help actually. Right. So what faculties in DBMCI you found, found very beneficial? We can start with you, Spurti. Obviously, it was uh, like, uh, in fact, I, I was inclined to medicine after your class. I, even when it was in the last class that you took on, only one class you took, I, I attended that class only because it was you. Every time, like, whatever motivational speech you used to take, you used to tell, it really helped me. And uh, with Nazir sir, microbiology, I think all the faculty was good uh, for first years and second years. Uh, Ashwani sir, uh, anatomy, uh, PSM, everything like uh, we we were able to recall whatever the sir whatever sir had told in the class actually. Okay, okay. What else? Yes, sir. First of all, I should thank uh, I want to thank thank you, sir, and uh, all the first year, second year uh, subjects faculty, uh, Ashwani sir, Praveen sir, and uh, Abdul Nazir sir and uh, uh, PSM by Ranjan sir and uh, uh, OBG by Anil sir and all. Uh, yes sir, whatever you told no, uh, told Allah sir, uh, those 10 subjects are the main basic subjects you should be thorough with. I was, I stick to that uh, sentence uh, so that uh, I should be strong in those uh, subjects sir. 10 subjects. 10 yes. subjects, first year, second year and along PSM. with PSM and OBG. True. So True. That, that made me revise very well. Good, good. Uh, uh, like uh, in first year, I liked uh, Ashwani sir's uh, anatomy class. Sir. So I even made uh, all charts of the those diagrams I had uh, stuck, uh, had stick down on my walls. Sir, like so, and also physiology was so crisp uh, by Ashish sir. Yeah, Ashish sir had uh, done uh, for us. So it was so crisp that uh, he had completed all everything in like say, like hundred to one fifty page. That's it, sir. Mm -hmm. So and also uh, like uh, pathology, uh, province sir's uh, notes was also useful. Narcissus sir's uh, blueprint thing was uh, really amazing, sir. So we could uh, revise the whole of parasitology and fungus, everything in one page only. So that was really actually helpful. And uh, like medicine, I can't <laughs> even express the most. Uh, like uh, yours uh, notes was uh, really a gold standard for us, sir. Like it uh, covered uh, covered everything in pathology also in uh, physiology, sir. So, okay. yes, sir. Okay, so I think it's been a pleasure uh, talking to all of you. And um, huge best wishes to all of you. I hope all of you get the seat of your dreams and uh, continue to do very well in your future also. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.